Good morning. It's day 14. And today I'm going to show you how to embrace the suck. When you're waking up in the rain, it's been pouring for a while, and it's going to keep raining. But you're lucky because even though we're packing up with here, we've got a ride at 10.30 this morning taking us into town. And we'll be able to do a pack explosion and dry everything out in the motel. It is 7.02 and I am back on the trail. Unless the uh, conditions, the trail terrain is really icky. Shouldn't have any problem getting to where we're going by 10.30. And I tell you, I am looking forward to a town stop. I'm tired. I'm stinky. Unbelievably stinky. I had no idea I could stink so much just based on the humidity. Sweating and not evaporating. So, yeah, I didn't count on that. But it's life. It's like your life. <laughs> The good news is the rain has let up a little bit. It's supposed to be kind of tapering down to about 30% chance over the course of the morning. So took my rain jacket off because the rain lit up, but it didn't occur to me that I was going to get soaking wet from all the overgrown plants that are hanging over the trail, so it might be a little soggy by the time I get picked up today, but hopefully the driver won't mind. Hello, little turtle. I'm going right over, but I'm not going to hurt you. guy how does it take you to cross the trail <laughs> mm. I have to say there's something really magical about the misty woods after the rain especially in the morning light this is so gorgeous 
We just went up and over a Duggar Mountain. We were at Duggar Gap last night, and uh, the trail's pretty sweet this morning. So I thought I'd take a peek at Far Out and see how much we had to go. We've got 1.8 to the Forest Service Road where we're going to be picked up, and six creek crossings. So uh, if we weren't wet already, we're probably going to get wet. And I would bet, thankfully, with the rain, that some of those dry water sources are going to start to maybe fill up a little bit, which will be nice, especially for hikers coming after us, because this is not the... Not the wet season by any means. I think this is stream number one. Not much happening, but not dry. Stream number two. Walk on the log. Step on some rocks. Here's creek crossing number three. Same creek. And this makes number four. This will be number five. Okay, here's number six. So there are, in fact, six creek crossings in less than a mile. Woo! Yeah, it looks like we've reached our destination for the day. Almost an hour early. Brandon from Elevated Grounds picked us up and dropped us off at the restaurant where we enjoyed breakfast and live music. We walked over to the grocery to do our resupply before we headed to the hotel to relax and dry out our gear. We chowed down on town food at the roadside grill where we had dinner and then headed back to the City Heart Motel to map out our strategy for the next couple of days. Future Joey here, and you can tell I'm back home in Colorado. Unfortunately, after we got back from dinner that evening, I got some devastating news. I had been aware for a few days that my partner's father was in the hospital and waiting for some test results, and we were really praying that things would get better and he'd be able to head home. But unfortunately, during the day, he took a turn for the worse and ended up passing late that night. So instead of getting back on the trail, I arranged a shuttle ride from Piedmont, Alabama into the Atlanta area, which fortunately was only about an hour and a half away. And I was able to join my partner and his family to spend the time with them and support them through um, all of just that, that terrible time and saying goodbye to a really, really special man. So I'm back now, getting into the groove of things, and I'm happy to report that Gunslinger was able to carry on, and she did finish the trail just a few days ago. I'm really excited for her, and I am looking forward to getting back someday to finish the Pinhoti Trail. I'm not sure when that will be, because I do have another through hike planned for this summer, which I will tell you about in a future video. I'm just thankful for all the support that we've had over the past few weeks, and we we'll just continue to keep um, Andy's family in my prayers, and I hope that you will as well.